It's always easy to blame the referee, but what's it like to be that official? My name is Zach Zarba, and I'm a 15-year NBA referee. The pressure is, is underestimated. You know, it's, it's taken for granted sometimes. It takes a lot to be able to function and exist in a pressure-filled environment, uh, and you have to be calm. Zach has had his fair share of court time. He played D3 basketball for SUNY New Paltz. So I knew as soon as my career was over uh, that I had to do something else and find something else I love. And my father was a baseball local uh, baseball umpire in Brooklyn, and he did high school and college, and he kind of gave me the idea to you know, try officiating. How did Zach become one of the NBA's 65 referees? It's a long road to reach that level. You start from you know, the bottom. You start from CYO, four, five-year-olds, six-year-olds. Uh, you work your way up. You do high school basketball. You do a little bit of college. I did a lot of work in the New York City Pro-Am leagues and, uh, and then the D-League. If you're good enough, you go to training camp. If that goes well, you might be recruited to the G League. Only those at the top of the G League get accepted as NBA referees. You have to be young, you have to be in shape, you have to be able to run up and down with the best athletes in the world. You have to stay light. The lighter you are, the less wear and tear on your legs, on your knees, on your feet. That's gonna give you a longer career. Clearly, staying in shape is key. How does Zach stay trim? For me personally, it's an hour of cardio a day, it's core work, it's you know, abs, it's a lot of weight work on the legs to protect the knees. Referees have to keep more than just their bodies in shape. I do a lot of meditation, you know, during the day before the game and stuff like that, just in order to find a calm place in order to have clarity because we're making decisions that likely affect you know, people's careers, people's jobs. Someone wins, someone loses, and you just want the utmost clarity and peace in a, in a charged environment. On game day, Zach and his fellow officials will meet around 11 a.m. to catch up. They'll head to the arena 90 minutes before tip-off to run through their pregame routine. The interaction with players is an ongoing art. Some nights are easier than others, but communication is a key. Communication and listening skills are huge. And at the end of the day, we may agree to disagree on some subjects, but the respect comes both ways. We are not more lenient with the stars. I would say the star players actually are disadvantaged more than anyone else. If you're going to concede that we make mistakes, which we do, you know, the mistakes we make are gonna be on the people who have the ball in their hand 75% of the time, which in this case is the star players. On top of the stress of the game, refs are on the road a ton, sometimes for up to 10 days at a time. The travel is difficult. It, it's, for the more veteran guys, it's 24, 25 nights gone from your family a month. It's basically eight months on and then four months off. We're home during the summer. We do some training stuff uh, with the league, but it's, that's our time to reconnect with our family and loved ones.